Good morning everyone, welcome to Lost Things Gaming, it's Ryzen 5 in spring season. The Dodge Durango SRT is the exclusive car, and the BMW M3 from 2021 is the 40 point car. The force from this week is all about the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio Glio Glio, and it's not a bad force farm to complete. First thing to own and drive it, you've got to win a drag race, get three stars at speed zones and we get 50,000 drift points at drift zones that's easy enough i've got my foglio tune on it and good car so the shop 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 audi rs7 doodle pattern cap the doodle summer skirt kick up some oat and a porsche cayenne turbo as well as a wheel spin super wheel spin if you fancy them you've got the trial all for one then you've got a couple of event labs there so it's super saloons all wheel driving the a class Super Hot Hatch in the A class and Super Saloons in the S1 class. That's what you got for those three events. So what am I going to go for? For the trial, the BMW M5 from 2009. Seasonal tune, the Dirt tune by Rock LXD. I've nabbed this as a suggestion off the forums and that's pretty decent. For the Event Lab, the Ford Focus 2017, Jingle Jangle Joe's tune on it. Then you've got Super Saloons, S1 class, pretty straightforward. One for that, why not? It's a car which I'm assuming everyone will have at this point. Then you've got the PR stance, Desiato Vivente, Cordurella and Grandius. Hot Hatch and the B class, all around for those. So Desiato Viviente, don't over target. 90 is a free star, so it would be less than that, but I managed to hit 93.56 in the Volkswagen Golf R32, the Ugrundi tune on it. So definitely free starred it, so I should be fine for a B-Class challenge. Same with Cordarilla. No targets here. 110 mile an hour is what we have for that. I managed to hit 116. So that's again free star in a B-Class car. B Golf tune by Ugrundi once again. We've really got Grandius. This is the one I'm a bit dubious on. Again, no targets, 25 seconds being free star, but it is B class. Managed to do it in 21.515. Again, in the golf. However, I was averaging around 17 or 18, so I don't know if that's going to be feasible. Then you've got Guanajuato at midnight, hot hatch and super hot hatch in the B class, and Euro to go, European performance dailies in the A class. So, Guanajuato at midnight, yeah, didn't the jam sing about that? No, no. Anyway, the Volkswagen Golf again, the Ugrundi. I've got that for the PR stunt, and I'll use it for this. Euro to go. The BMW M5 2018 off road tune by me. That's pretty respectable. The Treasure Hunt. I'm not going to read all of this, but basically go to the test track and apply an upgrade to your Ford Focus. That's all you need to do. That's nothing too problematic. And once you do that, you'll get the treasure. The photo challenge is just go down to Club Apollo Flamigo or whatever it's called in a Land Rover and take a picture. So what are we looking at for the test track? It's where it was last week. Yeah, it's the Horizon Main Festival site. Go in, add a basic tune and you'll be done. So, photo challenge, that's where we are. The Club de Apeo de Fuego, the golf course on the coast. Impact Creator Seikos, Run, Wrap to Run, Nexus View and Speed and Style. Bod Muscle A Class for PR Stunts. And Creator Seikos. No targets on this. This is a bit difficult, this one. This is what I struggled with. I did manage to get 74 mile an hour in the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. I had to make a new tune for it because it's all across the sand. But Run Wrap to Run, Porsche Cayenne Turbo, you know, the one that's in the shop, should be perfectly acceptable for that. Nexus View, this is the same requirement as the Valley Adventures, but totally different tune. I've got the drag tune on this. It's for Hot Wheels PR, tune on the Challenger SRT Hellcat, 168.01. That should be sufficient, hopefully. Then you've got Speed and Style, yeah, Super GT, S1, the Ferrari 8112, super fast, Force Fun Tune On by me, absolutely hammering it. And that is the spring season for the week, rushing through a little bit this week, but shouldn't be too bad. The PR stance on 
Trailblazer might be a bit iffy, but I don't know. We'll, we shall see, I guess. So until next time, thank you for watching and take it easy.